So hey y'all. Hey. Hey friend. Hey girl. Guess what? I'm back on your screen. So look, listen y'all, I'm back on your screen today with a story time. As you all know, this is my birthday month and I will be uploading a video every day for the month of February. As you all know, my birthday is on February 23rd. So I decided to jumpstart this thing with the story time because you all said that you like my story times. So I decided to do a story time. There will be more than one story time because I do have plenty of stories to tell you all. So look, listen, I ain't finna keep on talking. Let's jump right into this video. So with that being said, welcome to day one of February. <laughs> Today's story time will be about my fathers. Notice I said fathers with an S. I grew up knowing one man as my father. I think I was like five years old and <laughs> my mommy told me that another man was my father. So let me give you a backstory of who I thought was my father. And part of the story is some of the things that my mommy told me because I really don't remember this because I was too young just to remember way back then. But anyway, my mommy told me that I never liked my father. My mom also told me that he never knew that I can walk. My mom said when he would come in for work, I would plop my big old self down in front of the TV and will sit there until he was out of sight. I was two years old, she said, before he knew that I can walk. Him and my mom got a divorce. No, I'm lying. Him and my mom separated because they never did get a divorce. So I have no recollection of no memory of him between being born and eight years old. They used to fight a lot when we were younger. I have so many memories of them fighting back then when my brothers and I were younger. Anyway, I met this man to this day whom I feel like is my dad. My mom told me that this man was my father and I believe it because I was connected to him. I was so connected, like I felt in my spirit that this was my father. I was young when I found out that Johnny Smith was my father. That's his name. Anyway, I grew up thinking that this man was my father because that's what my mommy told me. She introduced me to him. Yeah, I had to be about five. I was five years old. Anyway, I grew up thinking that this man was my father. Once my mom and my dad separated, I was never around him anymore. I've never saw him again. I was over here with this dad whom I thought was my dad. I never saw him again until I got older. So I live life thinking that this man was my, my father and my brothers. I'm the only girl. I have two brothers. Well, I have one now. One passed away five months before my mommy passed away. And so they were over here with this family and I was over here with, with my dad. And that's how I grew up. They had their dad and I had my dad. You know what I'm saying? As I got older, I used to always think to myself, I believe that this really is my father because I just felt like I didn't look like anyone in my family, even on my mom's side nor my dad's side. I was tall. I was taller than my brothers. But my younger brother, though, later on kind of shot up a little bit over me. My mom was short. My mom had a darker complexion than I. And so did, you know, my dad slash their dad. My dad on this side, he was tall. He had lighter skin. He had this nice grade of hair and I felt like I took more of this man the hair and skin complexion because both of my brothers are dark complected like my mommy and like their dad like I didn't match. I just didn't match. I don't match with anyone on anyone. I just didn't. Anyway, I went through life growing up thinking that Johnny was my dad. You know, Johnny ended up going to jail. He was in jail for a long time that I could remember. And when he got out, we reconnected and I lived my life thinking that he was my dad. And that man loved me so much, y'all. It's weird. My oldest son, he looked just like me, like just like me, like just like me and he looked like johnny it's weird my son had the hair everything it was it's so weird anyway i grew up thinking that 
this man was my father but I knew that this was my father I know it don't make sense but I'm just telling you to make a long story short and to fast forward I start spending time with my dad over here which is Johnny and my dad over here his name is Robert I'm going to say his name this is Robert and this is Johnny my family and his family all thought that this was my dad no one knew that this was my dad but me mommy and his side of the family <laughs> weird anyway as time went on I remember a time that my dad got out of jail and he had come to live with me I think I had only had like three kids at the time yeah Bubba was like oh my god Bubba was a baby a baby boy young he lived with me for a little while and we got even closer we connected like my dad man when i say my this dude took care of me robert never done anything for me no matter what i needed johnny was always there for me i was his baby girl he loved me he called me baby girl at that he called me baby girl always did he was just always there he treated me like I was his daughter and I treated him like he was my dad because that's what I felt and I felt that daddy's love from him and I never felt it from Robert but also through the years as I got older you know like in my 20 I think I was young 20 like 21 22 23 my brother that had passed away he basically was raised by them over there and so I, I ended up living with my brother at one while and he used to come there all the time so I started talking to him but I felt no closeness to him whatsoever even though mommy told me this was my dad I never voiced it to anyone like anyone I promise you to this day my brothers didn't know no one knew but he was heavily and involved in my life but no one never knew this you know he tried to have a relationship with me Robert did but I didn't allow it because I, I had no connection my mind still said that that was my dad because we grew up thinking that that was my dad even though mommy told me this that this was my dad it's so weird I know I know Robert passed away from arthritis I believe like natural causes and my dad he he got murdered I gotta ask Gail which one of them passed away first I can't remember and so on that side of the family they will always say that I looked like them like all the girls now here's the thing all the girls on my dad's side they were tall like me they had these hips this big old booty just big women like Amazon women but all the guys were like short like my brother that passed away he was kind of not short short but he was short you know he was shorter than 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 me they used to always say I look like this one particular cousin I just always say no I don't she was light-skinned and big boned like me and always had long hair like I did and so I guess that's why they said that we look alike I don't know but I just never connected with that side of the family period until this day I got this one tall cousin she taller than me me and her connect more and then another cousin but I, if I saw any of my aunties on the street to this day I wouldn't be able to say I know their names but I wouldn't be able to say that's them well one auntie now because I can't get her out my face because some she said to me at my mommy's funeral but I'll get to that later but I I, I wouldn't even know we have a, a, a family group chat over there on Facebook and I go in there all the time and I look at pictures and try to put who child is who who mama who who is this person's mama and who is that person's mama I try to put two and two together like that but I have no relationship with them whatsoever but my brothers did my one brother was even raised by them he lived with them those people they were me my mom told me they treated her wrong and stuff I was like whoo girl Thank God it wasn't no day when I was older because I would have been slinging all of them like helicopters. But anyway, I remember when Robert got sick, he had fallen ill and he died. I went to his funeral. I'm making a long story short. I went to his funeral and I remember standing at that casket, y'all, and I was standing there saying, are you my daddy? are you my daddy i had all these crazy thoughts in my head i felt bad i felt so low because i never had a relationship with this man and i went to this funeral because everybody know him as my father so i went to this funeral because i knew people knew that and because i knew that no one knew that mommy had told me that johnny was my dad so i went to this funeral i was just so so lost i went to the funeral 
I don't think I went to the repast. If I did, I can't remember. But I have a picture of what I wore that day. And I always trip off the background. Just tripped off the fact that it was nothing in the background, nothing but grass and like a field. I was like, where was I? Did I walk away? What? It was just weird. I'm a weird thinker like that. But anyway, I left that funeral so hurt, confused, and just wondering, is this my father? And I, I gotta ask Gail, like I said, I can't remember who died first, who passed away first. Then my dad Johnny got murdered, and I went to his funeral, and I went to his funeral knowing that that was my dad. That was my daddy. Gail and I went, she was there for me when he passed away. When I got to my dad's funeral, I was still feeling conflicted. And I remember saying to myself like, wow, I didn't stood at two caskets wondering who is my father. Will Charnel Chapel, real father, please stand up. That's how I felt. Are you my father? I'm talking to a dead corpse both times. Are you my father? Are you my father? And then over here I told Robert, if you're my father, I'm so sorry that I didn't have a relationship with you. I'm so sorry I didn't connect with you as a daughter, but I had that daddy's love from him and I didn't have it from him. So laying on down the line, as I got even more older and more mature in the situation, I just summed it up that my dad is the one that showed me daddy's love. I was daddy's girl, so that's who I summed it up as my father. So anyway, after the funerals, I was feeling conflicted and um, I called my mommy and I was just like, mommy, I really need to know who was my father. She was like, girl, Rob is your daddy. I just said that because I was mad at him and he had something cheated on me. He had pissed me off or something like that. But I was just like, but mom, it was years. It's been going on for years that I thought Johnny was my father. And I believe this just me because my mom didn't really want to tell me. I really believe Johnny was my dad. And because I asked her and she knew that she was married and that uh, everyone knew me as Robert's daughter. I believe she just went on and told me that he was my dad. And to this day, I believe that Johnny was my dad. You know, I just, you just know, I knew, I just knew that that was my dad. So anyway, I don't know how it all got out. All of my aunties start calling my phone. They start calling me, going all off on me, calling my mommy a liar. You know Robert Chapel is your daddy and so-and-so, so-and-so. Girl, I ain't care what was happening or what was said. All I know is, I told all of them I was on my way, girl. I was on that phone putting, I'm, let me put my socks on, let me put my shoes on, cause y'all got me messed up. I said, I would F all of y'all up. I don't care what my mama said or did. Y'all better keep her name out y'all mouth. I will flatten all of y'all, y'all. I was crazy. I was just crazy like that. I'm telling you, I got into it with all my aunties and told them I would sling all of y'all like helicopters. Yes, baby. I talked to my mom that day and she was like, baby, don't worry about it, you know. I was like, yeah, but mama, I don't, I don't appreciate that. They don't have no grounds to tell me who my father is. You told me who my father is. And mommy, and I told her this day, I said, I know you told me that Robert was my dad, but Johnny is my daddy. He's the one that raised me. He's the one that took care of me. And he's the one. Still to this day, you know, I say that Johnny is my dad. I'ma tell you, I got confirmation. Uh, dang, I got emotional. <laughs> I took this as confirmation when when my mommy passed away, all the chapels was there and I was standing in the vestibule of the church and one of the aunties came in y'all and she saw me and she was like, this lady said, yeah, she one of us. Yeah, she looked like us. And baby, I never even told Gail this. I don't know if I told Gail this part of the story, but anyway, she was like, yeah, she one of us. She looked like us. She can be ours. Baby, honey, she had me messed up. And I looked her back in her face, dead in her eyes, and I said, I'm not a part of you, and I'm not one of y'all. Just like that. And baby, she looked me up and down and my big tall self was staring her dead in her face, baby, jump. 
jump. I dare you. So, on December 16, 2017, it was confirmation that that was not my daddy and I'm not a part of that family. <laughs> it was confirmation for me. That's all I needed. Yep, there you have it. So I don't know what happened, y'all, but my camera cut off. So look, listen. With that being said, your girl got to speed on past this. I ain't really talking about nothing because I got to keep pumping these videos out for the next 28 days. So look, listen, I'll see y'all the very next time I turn this camera back on. So until next time, until the next video, bye-bye. Let's rock, let's rock.